Hi, I'm Finian, and this is the Dead by Daylight Killer Alphabet. Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of the Killer Alphabet Challenge, where today we move on to our next letter, which is the letter R. Now when it comes to R, there is no killer that actually starts the title with a letter R. And there is, as far as I can remember, only one killer whose real name starts with R as well. And that is our girl, our waifu, Rin Yamaoka, the spirit. Now you might think, hey, why aren't you using spirit for the letter S? Well, simply said, I wanted to, uh, like I said in the introduction video, I wanted to not double play killers. So in order to play Sadako at S, um, uh, I couldn't play at R. So I looked at a different reason for someone to play R, and so I said R would be Rin Yamaoka. Basically explained. Now, for perks, there is exactly four perks that we can use. And those are Hex Retribution, which is a teachable perk from the Destinger, which will... Um, make survivors who interact with a dull or hex totem suffer from obliviousness for 45 seconds. Oblivious, of course, meaning they can't hear a terror radius. And if any hex totem is removed, including the retribution totem, the auras of all survivors are revealed for 15 seconds. Now, to combine this, we have also Hex Ruin, which is a teachable perk from the Hag, which will um, affect all generators. And while a generator is not being repaired by any survivor, it will begin regressing at a 100% normal regression speed. So basically the same as if it was kicked. Um, but if a survivor is killed by any means, the Hex Ruin Totem will turn into a Dull Totem. So it might turn off by itself. I don't know if this will trigger Retribution. I don't think so. Um, and then the last two perks are... Rancor, which is a teachable perk from the spirit herself, which will show uh, the uh, locations of all survivors for three seconds after a generator is complete and show the killer's aura to the obsession for three seconds when a generator is repaired. And once the exit gates are powered, the obsession will become exposed and can be killed with uh, a Mori. And the last perk is going to be Remember Me, which is a teachable perk from the Nightmare Freddy Krueger. Uh, which will make us obsessed with one survivor. Now, whenever the survivor um, loses, uh, the obsession loses a health state, um, this perk gains a totem, and for each token, uh, token, sorry, and for each token, the exit gates will take four seconds longer to open, up to a maximum of 16 additional seconds, and the obsession will not be affected by this. So, basically. We hit the obsession a couple times, uh, and then when they are in the when we're in the end game and they're still alive, we can mori them, um, and the other ones will have a longer duration of opening the doors. And then ruin and retribution are just well, one of them is slow down and one of them is a bit of info that might not even trigger at all. So let's move on to the add-ons. We actually have two add-ons that we can use, and those add-ons are the rusty flute, which will increase the recharge rate of Yamaoka's haunting by 25%. And we have Rin's Broken Watch, which will increase the haunting recharge rate by 15%. Uh, so basically, our power comes back very quickly. Um, and then offerings. There are two offerings we can use. One of them is the Rotten Oak, which we can find here. And the other one is the RPD badge, which will send us to the... Uh, Raccoon City Police Station, either the West Wing or the East Wing. So we'll bring that and we'll head over into our first match. Let's go. Here we are with a close-up of the Spirit's ass and on the RPD. And actually, funnily enough, um, one of the survivors actually also brought a RPD badge. So let's go find some survivors. checked on the completely wrong side, I guess. Oh, 
they're all on the other side there. What? Are they three menning that top gen there? What? I guess they got on it right when I walked past it, because that's uh, the only explanation I have for that. Somebody just fell down somewhere, right near me, but yeah, sheesh. First, well, at least she's not doing it, Jen. Oh, it was actually there, okay. Oh, I got stuck on that, that's pretty cool. It's wasting some of the speed first, it's going up. He's so loud, yet so quiet at the same time. Fast. He's got another good pallet here, unfortunately. I've got 
completely lost them. I can't even hear them. There we go. I was scared he was standing on the repeller and was gonna lob it on me, but I guess we're okay. Unfortunately, my ruin's gone though. game I guess would you like to play a game I saw no scratch marks, so I wasn't sure if I should go down there and check or not. White heels in a second, they're still outside. Oh, it's her first hook, actually. I still make this though. Could have done that so much faster, but I was gonna try and do uh, hit him over the pallet. It's possible to do it on dead dog somewhere, but it's not as easy on this pallet, I guess. Maybe the angle isn't quite right. Okay, they both haven't healed yet. Oh, they're definitely on this one. Oh, he self-cared. 
there's no hatchock ring, so it wouldn't even matter on this map really, so. Did Jen regress to zero? Yeah, it did. I hear it downstairs. There we go. That's a nice little 4K on Spirit. Oh, Rancor didn't really do anything. Uh, Remember me didn't do anything. Well, R Rancor did do something. It gave me some info. And, well, Ruin did its thing. Retribution did its thing. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, when we get to the next letter, which is the S. Out of my cage.